Hi friends, today I am going to solve a problem on the bar subjected to tensile load having different cross sectional area. Fine. So let's get started. A bar shown in the figure is subjected to a tensile load of 160 kilo Newton. So 160 kilo Newton. If the stress in the middle portion is limited to 150 Newton meter, the given stress in middle portion of the bar. Okay, determine the diameter of the middle portion. So we need to find out the D2 that is diameter at the middle portion. Find also the length of the middle portion if the total elongation of the bar is to be 0.2 mm. So we also need to find out L2 okay they given the change in length or elongation of the board they given it is point 2 mm okay then Young's modulus is given as equal to 2.1 into 10 to the power of 5 newton mm scale fine so let's start the solution So what are things given? Given one is P that is 160 kilo Newton that is equal to 1 160,000 Newton fine. So next they given the stress okay stress they given so sigma they given so it is 150 newton per mm square okay determine the diameter of the middle portion that is d2 we need to find out so and also find the length of the middle portion if the total elongation so they given again delta L that is 0.2 mm okay we'll just write it out here then hang smallest they given that is 2.1 to 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square okay so then so we need to find out the yield to so this is will do also we need to find out okay so now so what all data they given they given the stress and they given the load p and but we need to find d2 so first is first part of the problem is to find diameter of the middle portion okay that is d2 okay so we know that stress is equal to p by a okay here i'll just put a2 because i take a here d2 okay so so rest of thing is this same okay then i'll just modify this one p is the same but a2 i'll modify by d2 square divided by 4 okay so now what all things given here the given stress the given load we need to find the d2 so what i do here so i'll just take d2 this square it is square left side so means so what are the other things so p will be the same and pi become here and so this sigma comes here 
and 4 goes up ok so this is what we will be getting then P is given so let's just uh, substitute all data given so that is 160,000 into 4 divided by ok pi into sigma they given here right 150 Newton mm squared so we we'll just calculate we'll be getting 7358 mm square okay so this square now d2 become i'll just shift square to that side so it become square root of 1358 so if you find the square root of 1358 so we will be getting 36 point 85 mm so this is the answer okay so but here they given all in cm so i can put it in 3.685 centimeter okay so this is the answer for the first first portion of the problem okay so I can say this is the first portion so next we will go for second portion okay so what is second portion so second portion is L2 so I will just write it out length length of the middle portion that is L2 so this is what we need to find out ok so to find this so what all things we know so we know the formula delta L that is to find the change in length ok that is equal to P Okay, P L divided by E A, right? So this is the formula we know, right? To find the change in length, it is equal to P L by E A. Okay. So now, so they given the total change in length. So they given the total change in length. It is 0.2 mm. Okay. So. I am just going to modify this formula because here we have two cross sectional areas one is 6 mm and another is D2 that is we found out here 3.685 centimeter or 36.85 mm square sorry mm okay so now I will just modify this into P by E. So anyway, this is the load is same in all points, and E is a constant for the material. So only changes is here. You can see here. So we have a two cross section. One is D two, another is this. So I can call it this is a D one. Okay, and this also can call it it's a D one okay so that is what I am going to do here but here you can see I just mentioned L here and L so both are same length okay so I will just make it 2 L so I will just assume so to make you understand suppose okay this is I'll just bring these two adjacent to each other okay so then 
so this other thing is this so this is 160 kilo Newton and this is 160 kilo Newton so this become so L and L it become 2 L okay and this is L2 okay so look clear and this is the given forty centimeter okay but here I'll just this two L I need to make it in terms of L2 okay so 2L it can be written as 2L that is equal to 40 so I'll just converted this centimeter into mm so I'll put 400 minus L2 right I've taken this total length minus of this will give the length of this two portion so that is called 2L again written as 400 minus L2 okay so here that is what I am going to do here okay so 2L because L of this portion is 2L divided by so I'll just consider A1 okay then plus length of this L2 minus a2 okay I just formulate this formula into this because here we have two cross sections right so I just taken separately okay so now what I can do is here that is equal to p by e again 2L what I can write 2L nothing but 400 minus L2 so I'll just write it as 400 minus L2 divided by A1 what is the A1 it is pi by d square d1 square divided by 4 so this is what d1 here right so d1 and this is also d1 so same so I just taken that is d1 plus L2 so L2 as it is I will write it I will write as it is L2 I will write as it is then A2 is pi D2 square divided by 4 they are clear now ok so now again I will just simplify this thing P by E okay so I'll just to simplify this one then I'll make it so here you can see 4 is common and pi is common so I'll just bring it out 4 outside so this is a denominator in the denominator so it will come to the numerator here okay divided by pi okay then I'll just edit the stuff things as it is that is 400 so I'll just divide those things also divided by d1 square okay I'll just because d1 square is a common for this value 400 minutes into so I'll just separate it minus L2 by D1 square right so then plus L2 by D2 square okay so now 
okay so i'll put it these things same it is 4p divided by e pi okay then substitute this values 400 and d1 they given right d1 is 6 centimeter okay you can see here 6 centimeter so that one i will be converting into mm that is 60 centimeter square okay then minus so i'll just bring l2 okay common because here you can see l2 is a common so i'll just bring it out so what else left so so 1 by d1 so what is left 1 by d1 square that is 60 square okay then here it's a plus because i really i taken minus as a common so when you multiply it so it must be positive so that's the reason I just put minus of 1 by d2 square okay so d2 square is this 3.684 centimeter or i can write it i can write it as 36.85 right 36.85 whole square okay so now we substitute all values okay so i will be substituting all values that is delta L they given 0.2 mm okay and 4 p p is given that is 1160 1000 newton so after simplification of this so we will be getting L2 that is equal to okay 3647 eight six divided by one seven six one okay so that is equal to two node seven one four mm or twenty point seven one four centimeter okay so this is the answer we will be getting friends if you find this is helpful please like and share to your friends. Thanks for watching.